Hello and welcome, I am Vanya Gröger, also known as Nechtan, and in this video I will give you a brief overview over the most common ways to hold your sticks. By the way, the following video is taken straight out of my brand new online course Start Playing the Drums, and if you want to get into drumming, then this course is for you. Want to know more? Then just click the link down below in the description or up here. But now, without further delay, let us begin. Have fun and enjoy! Hello and welcome to your first steps on the drum set. Before we start with hitting the drums, let us take a look at how to hold your sticks. First of all, something like the one true perfect and correct way to hold your sticks does not exist. There are many ways to hold them and every grip has its advantages and disadvantages. So before I show you which grip I recommend, let me introduce you to the three most common ways to hold your sticks. There is one thing that all these grips have in common and that is holding the stick between your thumb and index finger. This is very important for many playing techniques later on, so make sure to not just hold your sticks in a fist like this. Let's start. German grip. For the German grip your palms face down and your arms go straight forward. Now you close your fingers around your sticks while your thumbs lie parallel to them. From above you can now see that your sticks form a triangle and this is the German grip. You move the sticks with your arms and wrists and this is a great position for wrist playing and Möller technique. But it doesn't work very well if you try to play with your fingers. French grip. This one looks different. Now your palms face sideways and your thumbs face upwards. Your arms go inwards and the sticks are parallel to each other and voila! This is the French grip. You can move the sticks with your arms and your fingers, but the wrist movement is very limited, so this position is well suited for flying fingers and less good for wrist players. American grip. This position is kind of a mixture of German and French grip. Your palms are roughly in a 45 degree angle and this way you can use wrist and fingers quite well. So let's just quickly repeat German, French, American. As you can see I hold both sticks in all the grips in a symmetrical way. This is called a matchstick grip. However, there's also the traditional grip where you hold both sticks differently. This is quite common among jazz or marching snare drummers and one of the most famous traditional grip users is for example the legendary Buddy Rich. In my opinion the traditional grip does not make much sense nowadays, especially in a metal or rock context. It is just easier and more intuitive to hold both sticks in the same way and I just don't see any advantage in the traditional grip. Some drummers say that you have a better feeling and better control when it comes to very quiet notes with the left hand, but since there are also a lot of drummers out there who don't use traditional grip and are nonetheless very good at ghost notes etc, I think that it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Anyway, in metal you mainly want to play as fast and consistent as possible with both hands and in order to play as equal as possible with both hands, it just makes sense to use the same grip left and right. And in rock music, rim shots are often used and they don't really work so well with traditional grip. For me personally, there would also be the problem that the push-pull technique wouldn't work with both hands with the traditional grip. I know there are some techniques out there kind of similar to open close or push-pull for the left hand in traditional grip, but I think they don't work equally well. Also, it would mean just a lot more effort having to learn two different motions for left and right. However, there still are a few drummers, even in extreme metal, playing with traditional grip 
like for example Nick Pierce. So it is not impossible to do, but all in all I think matched grip is the way to go. So this was an overview about the most common grips. You don't need to remember every detail, but it is good to have some basic knowledge so you know what I mean when I say for example something like in this moment I tend a little bit more towards French grip. So that's it for this video. If you want to know which stick grip I personally prefer, which is actually none of the standard ones and why, then get my brand new online course Start Playing the Drums. In this course you of course not only learn about stick grips, but also about all the other basics you need to properly start playing the drums. Like for example which equipment do you need as a beginner, how to properly set up your drum kit, how to hit the drums and of course you will learn your first beat. Because I want everyone to start playing the drums, this course is compact, easy to understand and very affordable. So if you want to make your first steps into the world of drumming, just click on the link right down below in the description or up here and get this course. Thanks for watching and I hope to welcome you soon into the worldwide community of drummers. See you there.